to the blowing artist we're going to be well i'm going to be making this sketchbook today and showing you how and why i suppose this is a sketchbook with drawing paper and watercolor paper and this one has watercolor paper drawing paper pastel paper and glassine paper lots of paper uh, the reason is it's a bit of an experiment it's just that i never see sketchbooks that look like this and i thought i'd have a go I've always wondered why they don't make sketchbooks with bits of glassine in them so you can make oil, pick pastel pictures and not have it smearing all over the place or not have to look around a fixative. And this is some of the paper, Hannah Muller, Nostalgie, £190, 190 GSM or £90 and this is Canson, pastel paper, all different colours. Um, nice smooth surface and you get it in a pack usually on Amazon so yeah I'm afraid I can't show you a po photograph of the watercolor paper it came in a huge pad I think it was either Windsor and Newton or Dalla Rowney watercolor pad like a jumbo pad um, but I can't find any any trace of it I must have used the last of it and yeah the glassine is just from Jackson's big pack of glassine either yeah from Jackson's or you can get it from postal post pack people delivery services and this is a little pack of equipment for book binding and you get them in little packs from places like Amazon as well and you get the bone folder, the wax thread, which I highly recommend. I definitely rec recommend doing them because the needles are bigger than normal needles. Normal needles you can't use for stuff like this because you'll just really hurt your fingers. The holes have to be much bigger than sewing clothes and it will just really hurt to sew this much stuff because you're actually pushing through. And you know, normally with material that just goes through so I would definitely recommend getting a book binding kit because it has the specialist needles as well as the the, the what is it I was gonna say thumbelina what is it the thumb um thing that you put over your thumb when you push the needle through <laughs> well anyway that yeah and you get the wax thread and the wax thread is really good if you're using any watery medium because it's obviously coated in wax so it doesn't absorb any liquid so it won't pull through to the other sheets and that was just me cutting the glassine paper and that now I have to fold the glassine paper and put it into the already folded envelopes of watercolour and drawing paper. Now I've mixed all these papers up there's no order to them they're all going to go in differently just so I don't want a whole section of the book to be watercolour and a whole section to be drawing paper. I just want it to be all mixed up. I want a, an experimental feel to the sketch pads. I don't want it to feel precious. I'm, probably, I'm never really precious about books I make myself anyway because they're not perfect. They're not... Um, as absolutely beautifully perfect as shop or books so I do like the experimental feel of it and I do like the fact that the experimental part of it comes right from the outset even with picking paper I think it's quite it was quite fun to do this to throw all these things together and it could mean an absolute mess of jumbled up styles of drawing and painting but it could lead to something really interesting so I thought well this will be good fun for the summer to make these sketchbooks and see what happens the thing with uh, the glassine oh I don't like carrying bottles of fixative I mean when when you do have to carry your own stuff I, I know I've done a video before where it shows me taking lots and lots of equipment but I do actually like to take as little as possible when I do have to walk and carry things and one thing I will not take is a huge bottle of fixative I won't take any fixative big or small 
the things that I have to take are things like pencils, paints, inks, brushes. Um, you know, whoever invented the water brush is a god because you don't have to take bottles of water with you anymore, which is absolutely massive. It's such a big deal, that, because a big bottle of water is very heavy. So I don't like taking cans of fixative either. either. So I thought, well, what if you made a sketchbook and put pages of glassine in between? What would What would happen then? Because I do love oil pastels. Oh, my goodness, it's just such beautiful textures that they make but they also make a lovely mess when you have to close over your sketchbook pages and it can be really disappointing I've done a couple of things that I thought oh I really love that and then closed the book and opened it when I got home and it was a, an absolutely lovely mess to be honest so I thought this would be a good little experiment this is the backing of the book that I'm cutting now this is just an old back to an old book probably one of these pads paper pads the back of them really useful always keep things like that they always come in handy and this is the wax thread that comes with the little pack for book binding all right just lovely little pack not really expensive i don't think it was more than something like 12 pounds and you got every couple of different colors of thread different sizes of needles some snips and all for poking the holes through um, what else? I think that's it. Excuse me, just had to have a bit of water there. So yeah, this is stitching the envelopes together now. My fa One of my favourite bits. I would recommend doing something like this if you've never tried it before. Now this isn't a step-by-step -step guide. This is just a bit of a chatty a chatty guide to making a sketchbook it's not a step by step um i tell you now there are much better videos than this i would highly recommend sea lemon book binding or bitter melon book binding they do step by steps M me is just showing you what my book will look like and we'll also do a follow-up video of <laughs> I'll show you whether the books are successful in what I wanted them to do so they'll probably hold up to quite a bit of punishment uh, when you bind books like this they are very hard wearing I find that when I get spiral bound books I wreck them quite easily I squash the spirals or the pages fall out and I don't do very well with them at all I'm quite heavy handed when it comes to things like that. Um, I like things to be able to take a knock or two and spiral bound books don't seem to do very well with me. So this is much, much my preferred type of book. And this I think I'm doing now is a French stitch and I'm just finishing it off and tidying it up. And the French st stitch binds all of the other envelopes to together. I think it's called the French stitch anyway. Anyway, this is a fiddly bit. But this is just things that I like to do if I'm really not in the mood to do painting or drawing, but I have to find something productive. If I've finished editing a video or doing admin or in, you know, posts, how long do posts take on Instagram and TikTok and all that? If I've done all that, but I want to do something else, a good uh, a task like this is very therapeutic I would say it's, it reminds me of crocheting and knitting you know when you want to take your mind off things and you want something to do I would say make a book because they're so useful it, you know that's the good thing about knitting, knitting and crocheting you've always got something useful at the end of it so if you wanted to try something a bit different i would definitely recommend make your own book i mean i know i say don't use normal co cotton thread and needles for clothes but that was the first book that i made and it, it did work i had to be very careful the problem with normal cotton is that it's sharp so if you push normal cotton through the holes that you make 
and you pull too tightly you can just rip straight through the the spine of the envelopes because it, it's not like a nice thick wax thread that's specially for bookmaking cotton thread for your clothes will pull straight through the paper if you pull too hard so that would be the only thing i'd say if you're going to make a book just be aware of that if you've got no proper book binding equipment just be gentle when you pull the stitches through but you can still do it i've made a book that way it took a long time it was a lot harder that's why i said don't bother but i still made it and uh, it was good fun to do so if you've just got a few bits and bobs lying around definitely have a go and uh, you've got your own sketchbook then and you're not you won't be precious with it I promise you you will not be precious with it you will use it I've started using mine already I'm not saying I've got brilliant beautiful works of art in there but I wanted it to be quite experimental it's an experimental sketchbook from start to finish everything that goes in there is going to be one massive big experiment <laughs> <laughs> so that means it may not work this is just normal pva that's going on the back here and i'm squashing it in and letting it soak in as well and that really does do the trick um i've never had anything come come loose yeah just squish straight in and this is left to dry overnight once it's all stuck on i leave that to dry overnight and um, leave the spine that I've glued onto the book overnight and then the next day when they're both dry individually glue them together and I find that way works best if you try and glue everything too quickly it just goes all wobbly and it makes everything too wet and warps the pages a little bit and when you do something like glassine the pages are a little bit little bit warped anyway because glassine's so delicate i wasn't expecting that the the glassine really did warp quite a lot but then i thought well i'm not drawing on it i'm only using it to stop the oil pastels running over onto the next page i don't have to be precious about the glassine it doesn't have to look perfect it's not a shop bought sketchbook it's just me so So if I do inspire you to try your hand at your own sketchbook, just keep thinking things like that. You don't have to be too worried about what it looks like. It is just you. I know it does look pretty because of the nice material, but uh, that's more of an accident than anything. I, I did the first one with a tea towel. I used an old tea towel and it was pretty and I backed it with an old tea towel. And if you want to see that, then let me know in the comments and I will show you what my very first sketchbook sketchbook looked like. Yeah, so you can ha find things around the house. So I did use the cotton for mater material cotton, a normal needle, but I warn you now that hurt. That really hurt my thumb trying to push it through. And then I backed it like this with an old tea towel. This is material that you get from sample packs in haberdashery shops so these are sample um sections of material and they're all different patterns they're all japanese style but they're all different patterns and you can go into a haberdashery and you ask them what, what sample packs have you got and then pick a really good hardy one and make sure that it's it's kind of it's tough material but it will be a little bit porous and stick to your pages all i'm doing here is sticking on the fly sheet now that fly sheet is going to stick into the backing so there's the spine that i've glued and then i stick the fly sheet to the backing unfortunately i did forget to film when i attached the backing to the fly sheet and here's the book and this is what I have started to have a go in it. There you go. The glassine is there. A few sheets. 
as you can tell I've not done anything in order but it's just been lovely I've took this down the field a few times with the dogs and I've absolutely really enjoyed it really enjoyed it now that should have a piece of glassine in the middle of it and it did come out <laughs> I am rough I am really rough and it did come out the little stitch did hold for a while but it didn't hold forever but there you go that's my book thank you very much okay I thought I would add this right at the end as a surprise this is my little tea towel sketchbook this was my very first sketchbook and I absolutely love it it's watercolour paper really thick watercolour paper that I divided up and put it together to make this little sketchbook and it's just a tea towel just a little tea towel and I use normal cotton that you use to uh, repair your clothes and this is what got me hooked I did this sketchbook first and then after that I thought oh I could do another and I could do a different paper but I really enjoyed it really enjoyed it I hope this gives you some ideas to make your own and yeah use all the different papers this is very thick paper it was hard to to stitch with normal needles so it was very hard to stitch there you go so yeah join me again thank you if you've watched this all the way through really appreciate that it was lovely to have your company please go make your own sketchbook and have fun bye bye